the garden from frog and toad together by arnold lobel essential question what grows in a garden genre a fantasy is a story that could not happen in real life look for animals who talk and act like people events that could not really happen. Meet the author and illustrator, Arnold Lobel. Arnold Lobel started drawing when he was a child. When he grew up, he wrote and illustrated almost 100 books for children. His books won many awards. Frog and Toad have even been in a Broadway musical. Frog was in his garden. Toad came walking by. What a fine garden you have, Frog, he said. Yes, said Frog. It is very nice, but it was hard work. I wish I had a garden, said Toad. Here are some flower seeds. Plant them in the ground, said Frog. And soon you will have a garden. How soon, asked Toad. Quite soon, said Frog. Toad ran home. He planted the flower seeds. Now, seeds, said Toad, start growing. Toad walked up and down a few times. The seeds did not start to grow. Toad put his head close to the ground and said loudly, Now, seeds! Start growing! Toad looked at the ground again. The seeds did not start to grow. Toad put his head very close to the ground and shouted, Now seeds start growing! Frog came running up the path. What is all this noise? he asked. My seeds will not grow, said Toad. You are shouting too much, said Frog. These poor seeds are afraid to grow. My seeds are afraid to grow, asked Toad. Analyze the text. Repetition. What words are repeated on these pages? Why? Of course, said Frog. Leave them alone for a few days. Let the sun shine on them. Let the rain fall on them. Soon your seeds will start to grow. That night, Toad looked out of his window. Drat, said Toad. My seeds have not started to grow. They must be afraid of the dark. Toad went out to his garden with some candles. I will read the seeds a story, said Toad. Then they will not be afraid. Toad read a long story to his seeds. Analyze the text. Story structure. What is Toad's problem? How is he trying to solve it? All the next day, Toad sang songs to his seeds. And all the next day, Toad read poems to his seeds. 
and all the next day, Toad played music for his seeds. Toad looked at the ground. The seeds still did not start to grow. What shall I do? cried Toad. These must be the most frightened seeds in the whole world. Then Toad felt very tired and he fell asleep. Toad, Toad, wake up, said Frog. Look at your garden. Toad looked at his garden. Little green plants were coming up out of the ground. At last, shouted Toad, my seeds have stopped being afraid to grow. And now you will have a nice garden too, said Frog. Yes, said Toad, but you were right, Frog. It was very hard work. The end.